Nikola Jokic or Joel Embiid, or maybe even Giannis, who's your MVP? We're going to go over that plus a lot more today. Stay tuned. What's up, guys? My name is Bogar. If you're new to the channel and you enjoy NBA content, make sure you subscribe and let's get straight into it. So with it being almost the end of the regular NBA season, MVP discussions are heating up per usual. And for the third year in a row, Joel Embiid and Nikola Jokic are head-to-head -head as the top two MVP candidates. With Joel Embiid's Sixers having a record of 45-22 and, and Jokic's Nuggets being 46-22. and 22. Although the Nuggets are the number one seed in the West, while the Sixers are the third seed in the East behind the Celtics and the Bucks. But who should really win the MVP and why? Before I get into the breakdown, I'd really love for you guys to give me your opinion on who you think you should win, so go comment that below, or even if it's another player, still comment. Now let's start off specifically looking at stats. Joel Embiid averages 33.5 points per game while Jokic averages 25. Clearly showing why Embiid is more dominant, scoring the ball a lot more. If I had to pick one player over the other to score in the clutch, I would most definitely take Joel Embiid. While rebounds, Jokic averages 12 a game and Embiid averages 10 a game. Now obviously Jokic leads that category, but I don't think two rebounds a game is going to make someone stand out extra for MVP voting. Now the real kicker here is the assists. Jokic averages 10 assists per game, while Embiid averages 4. Now while I would rather have Joel Embiid have the ball in his hand or take that last second shot, I would also much rather have Jokic over Embiid when it comes to ball handling or passing skills. I feel like Jokic has a lot more of a playmaker and basketball IQ than Embiid. So if we average out the differences, Embiid averages an extra 8 points a game, but Jokic averages an extra 6 assists a game. And obviously 6 assists outweigh 8 points, because 6 assists turn into at least 12 points, and that's considering every assist turns into a 2 point. They both average the same amount of turnovers per game, the same amount of steals per game, but Embiid averages one more block. So therefore you could also say his defense is a little better than Jokic. This is where it gets really tough. Because the only reason that Embiid's really still here in the argument is because he has better defense than Jokic, so it makes this conversation really hard. But unfortunately for Embiid and Philly fans, obviously offense has a lot more popularity compared to defense. So when it comes to MVP voting, everyone's just going to look at the offensive numbers. Which Jokic does outweigh Embiid, so they're going to give him the award. But in my opinion, and I think most people should agree on this, and Jokic's offense definitely outweighs Embiid's, but the defense is where it kind of causes the problem of where he could be better than Jokic, but people aren't going to look at that when it comes to MVP voting. And another thing people like to mention is the team surrounding these players. I do think it's pretty equal, but I do have to give the Sixers the edge on the better team, because I'd much rather have Harden, Maxi, and Tobias Harris compared to Jamal Murray and Mike. Michael Porter Jr. Now neither of these teams are really too deep or have a great bench, but I'd much rather have someone like Tobias Harris starting compared to the Nuggets having KCP. So again, Jokic is definitely the better offensive player, Embiid's definitely the better defensive player. Plus not to mention the last three games when Jokic has been out of the game, the Nuggets have had a minus 29 point differential. But basically in conclusion, Jokic clearly has the better offensive game, Embiid clearly has a better defensive game. I don't know what to tell you. I couldn't choose if I had to. Personally, although I do think Jokic is the better player, I do want to give it to Embiid because three times in a row is insane, but I'd like to see someone else win it. And with Embiid being second place for the last two years and possibly even getting second place again this year, I wouldn't want to see that happen. But speaking of Nikola Jokic, he dropped 35, 20, and 11 in yesterday's loss to the Brooklyn Nets, although he did miss the game winning three, so that's their third loss in a row for the Nuggets. Now we're going to go over to the Blazers and Pelicans game. The Blazers without Damian Lillard, still no Zion, obviously for the Pelicans gives a lot of the smaller role players an opportunity. And Trey Murphy took just that. This man dropped 41 points in under 30 minutes and had nine three-pointers, including this sequence where he hit three straight threes on straight possessions. Performances like this show me that the Pelicans could make a deep run as long as their roster is healthy, because between CJ McCollum, Brandon Ingram, Zion Williamson, and then all these other surrounding pieces that can go off at any given point, this is a dangerous team. They just gotta stay healthy. But shout out to Trey for the career high and dropping a 41 ball. But speaking of Western teams making a run, there's now only a one game differential between the 7 seed and the 12 seed, and only a two and a half game differential between the 5 seed and the 12 seed. And with only about 12 games to go in the season, it's a race for the finish, and it seems like these West teams are already playing in the playoffs. Every single game matters for them, and if one team gets hot at the right time, they could move up 5-6 to six seeds. For example, I believe the Lakers were an 8 seed yesterday, and after their loss to the Knicks, they moved all the way down to 11 for a singular loss. That alone shows how much every single game means, and it's very important for these teams to close out the season strong. So it's definitely going to be fun to watch the rest of the season and see who ends up where. But guys, that's pretty much going to do it for this video. If you did enjoy, make sure you leave a like down below to see if we can get 17 likes on this video. Make sure you subscribe for more daily NBA recap and news, and I will see you guys in the next video.